Welcome in Taurus. I'm Maria at Indigo Earth. I am here to do a reading, a general reading for you, our Earth Signs Taurus. Thank you for coming into the channel. Good to have you here. Let's welcome in your cross watchers as well. Cross watchers, feel free to swap around the energies as need be throughout the reading. Time is fluid, so any time that you come across this message and you are drawn into it was a time that you were meant to listen to it. Messages coming through in this reading for you, Taurus, should reflect some aspect of your current situation. It doesn't have to reflect the whole thing, as well as and or an inner knowing. So take what fits, and if it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Just means the reading was meant for somebody else's week. For those of you that this does resonate with, I will have an extended at the end of this reading. We're going to dive deeper into your message by exploring the zodiac signs that come up throughout your reading. And those zodiac signs can be about intimate connection as well as and or background players. Friends, family, blended family, extended family, siblings, cousins, aunts, uncles, colleagues, work associates, best friends, friend associates, your circle of friends. So, and even if you don't know their zodiac sign, you will recognize the energies as I go through those zodiac signs in the extended. So just keep that in the back of your mind as you go through the reading. Those zodiac signs can be about anybody who influences your energetic field. So this is a message for you. Let's dive into your message. This is for Taurus, Moon, Sun, and Rising. This is a message for those watching, please, for Taurus, Moon, Sun, and Rising. It's a message for Taurus, Moon, Sun, and Rising. It's for Taurus, Moon, Sun, and Rising. All right, let's see where we go with you today. All right, here we go. So, energetic theme of the reading. We have the Ten of Pentacles. This could be about family, but this is about stability, your livelihood, um, career, how everything ties together, career, family, job, um, sense of happiness. This is also about completion. So let's see where this takes us. Your overall energy. We have the High Priestess. Either something's being hidden right now or there's something that's kind of nudging you from the inside. What is your situation? The Wheel of Fortune. Changes on the horizon. Something's nudging at you here. Could have something to do with your career choice. Could have something to do with maybe where you live. Could have something to do with your family situation. So let's see what your challenge is in this. King of Swords. Awareness. Truth. Keen sense of knowing. You got the King of Swords um, covering the High Priestess. That kind of tells me that this is clear to you. You may not be acting on it right now, but something is very, very clear to you. You know that something needs to change. Something needs to, to switch directions. Change in the wind. Yep. Something needs to go in a different way. So let's see what the what life is co-creating with you. We have the lovers. So we got a lot of majors coming up here. We got the Wheel of Fortune, which is Sagittarius. We got the High Priestess, which is Cancer and Pisces. And we got the lovers, which is Gemini. So this could be about an alliance. It could be about a choice that's very close to your heart. Some, some type of decision that needs to be made. Um... Something to do with a very close connection to you. So let's see what you've mastered up until now. We have the Five of Swords. <laughs> you've mastered conflict? No. Um, <laughs> you've mastered change. <clears throat> Hard changes. Changes that have come with a lot of pushing, a lot of drama. Maybe changes that have come with some resistance. Changes that maybe have been kind of hard fought, going against the grain, swimming upstream. 
So let's see what your opportunity is coming in. We have the Seven of Cups. Well, the Seven of Cups is about confidence and experience. So um, this could be about kind of expanding your perspective. This can also be about maybe things don't seem as they really are. Maybe needing to take a closer look at something. And since this is cups, this is something that has to do maybe with your emotions, your feelings, um, your gut instincts. But this is what's coming in for you. So let's see what your strengths are when this comes in. We have the Eight of Swords. So your strengths are knowing how to untangle yourself, unravel yourself. How to unbind yourself or unwind yourself from a situation maybe that's trying to keep you locked in that won't allow you to move that kind of makes you feel like you have your back up against the wall your strengths are that you know how to maneuver through this so what are the outside influences in this we have the tower so some kind of change in the wind this might be abrupt this might be this kind of seems like it's more of a force change like there was a change offered the wheel of fortune this is something kind of easy breezy kind of moving you into with flow and the outside influences now have gotten to like now there's a disruption coming in so what are your next steps judgment New awareness, seeing things differently, looking at things from a different perspective, understanding the big picture. Because all in all, what you really want here, what you really, really want is to overcome your fears and your anxieties. This could have something to do with a lifestyle or a way of... Um, the way that you create your lifestyle. Something's trying to push you in a different direction. And really, the big picture here for you, what's really going on, is trying to get through to an attainment or a way to face your fears, move through your fears, move through your anxiety, get past this so how is this all going to play out we have the seven of wands i mean you're at an advantage point here the achievement is possible here for you in this situation whatever this situation is for you there's a nudging here there's a nudging here that has to do with lifestyle Maybe how you show up in the world, the platform from which you jump off of to present yourself to life. Something's nudging you in a different direction here. And it has something to do that's very close to your heart. Might have something to do with partnership. Might have something to do with family. Might have something to do with children, if you have children. But moving through this, you will be at an advantage point. You will be gaining confidence. Your experiences of knowing how to navigate through something that tries to keep you bound is gonna help you through this by facing your fears and creating a new awareness. So some kind of flow is presenting itself to you. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. So let's dig deeper. What is this Wheel of Fortune for Taurus? What is this situation pertaining to? We have temperance, some sort of inspiration. Being unshaken. 
We have the Fool. So a new beginning is trying to make its way through here. And we have the world. This is um, this is kind of a major change. Something is pushing its way through here. Definitely. Some kind of flow is trying to present itself to you in this situation. I think deep down inside, you kind of know it's time to make a change. It's time to kind of start over again. It's time to maybe embrace a different embodiment of energy, so to speak. Um, when the wheel shows up, we're really looking at evolvement, moving forward, really evolving in your life. And you've got the world here, so something wants to complete itself out. Bringing harmony, because you got temperance in here too, and the world. Both are about harmony. And it's really about creating a new beginning. The Fool. Different journey. Different journeys being asked. And it's kind of... <laughs> it's kind of like... <sighs> trying to push you in that direction easily. <sighs> like that. But now, I don't know if you're resisting or you're not listening. Or maybe, you know... You're just kind of like trying to avert now there's going to be kind of like a disruption coming in so let's keep going your challenge here or your opportunity however you want to look at it this is how where you use your discernment and your inner knowing something inside has been calling you and it's been calling you for a while it seems to be pretty clear king of swords it seems to be pretty clear So let's clarify what this is, what this challenge is for you. Clarify the King of Swords for Taurus, please. Too many. Well, that's way too many, too. We have the King of Wands. So this is about knowledge. This is about gaining information. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Knight of Cups. This is about taking action. There's something deep down inside that you know you need to move on. It's something very passionate to you. It's something that you truly desire. Maybe it's something that you really want. It's something that, you know, is not going to be an easy attainment. You got the Eight of Pentacles here. <clears throat> it's something that's going to be have to be worked for. And it's it's gonna it's going to require, I think you had this in your reading a while ago, that this is gonna require a different type of perception and a different type of action. Something that's a little bit more carefree, something that's a little bit more closer to your heart. For some of you, this is about making amends or apologies. You got the Eight of Pentacles here. So this is like walking the walk and talking the talk, right? This is doing due diligence. And it's like, you know, I mean, you got the King of Wands here with the King of Swords. This is like, it's going to require some effort. It's going to require you to um, be very clear, be very direct. It's also going to require some creativity, some ingenuity. But the challenge here, there's something that you know you need to do. Because whatever this is, is requiring some sort of completion in your life so that you can begin again.
Whatever that means for you. I'm not sure. You would know. You, you, you would know what this calling is. Because you've been feeling it. Could have something to do with family or what you consider family. But, but let's keep going here. So let's find out what life is working on with you. Lovers. Some sort of alliance. This could be about a decision to be made. This could be about a choice to be made. This could be about a choice in love. This could be about a decision in an intimate connection. We have the King of Cups, something that's very near and dear to you. We have the Knight of Wands taking action on it. And we have the Four of Wands making a commitment to it. Well, for some of you, this could be about making a commitment, some sort of engagement coming in. Or wanting to take some sort of engagement here. Something you've known you've needed to do for a while. Maybe you see it very clearly now. Maybe there's been kind of an opening in your heart space to be able to move forward in a commitment to a relationship, to take it to another level. Because you got the world and you got change. You got the Knight of Cups here. You got the King of Cups. You got the Knight of Wands. And you got the Four of Wands. So this is making some sort of heartfelt commitment. Moving it forward. Going to the next level. Completing an old level. So let's look at what you've mastered here. Because you got the Five of Swords. So this is working through changes. This is working through changes that have kind of been hard felt. Um, and this seems to be, this seems to be making a change that's more in flow than it is being forced. Something that you want to do, something that Something that you just know deep inside that you need to do it. So, does this go with you? What you've mastered? Doing it the hard way, so to speak. Because the easy way is presenting itself to you. Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So, it's taken you quite a while. Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving. Queen of Pentacles is kind of like staying solid in a solid place, not really wanting to move. See how <laughs> see how she's kind of sweeping away that gnawing little um, mouse like the pest? It's been going on for a while. This has been pestering you for a while. It's taken a while to get here. But you got the Queen of Pentacles here. You may have been very focused on taking care of yourself. You may have been very focused on taking care of your own, your own kind of, your own business, your own adventures, your own, um, just your own reality. Very focused on taking care of your own reality. So does this go with you when the opportunity arises? Because it seems like change in the past has been kind of, it gnaws at you and it gnaws at you and it gnaws at you until, you until it's almost like you have to do it. But this change wanting to come through in your current situation is kind of like it, a flow into the next step, the next level, the next version. So let's find out what the Seven of Cups is. You could be figuring out how to do something, where it's going to lead, what's going to happen. But the Seven of Cups is about your experience and your knowledge. 
and your confidence. So when this opportunity comes in, in the next zero to three months, what is this opportunity going to look like for you? We have the King of Wands, again, inspired action, moving forward, things moving. There's desire here, there's passion, there's motivation, there's wisdom. This is really making a standard of honor. We have it with the Nine of Wands, so there's a little bit of trepidation here. And we have it with strength. Fear not. <laughs> Fear not. Move forward. Um, I think this is going to be how you perceive the situation. There's a desire here. There's motivation to move something forward. To really take action on it. Um... I think it's taken you a long time to get here, Nine of Wands. I think there's some trepidation about it. But I think all in all, you know, you're gaining the courage and the wisdom and the knowledge to be able to move in this direction. Might be a bit confusing, but the desire is there. And if the desire is there in the opportunity that comes up, even though there's some trepidation, your experiences in this situation or in this new change, um, you already know that you know. High Priestess, you already know that you know that this is coming through. There's an awareness here, keen awareness. And you got the King of Wands twice. So that means the motivation and the desire is there to make this move. Where it doesn't have to be made by being pushed, it can just be made by... by moving and flowing into the next step so let's see what the eight of swords is then your assets in this situation why would you have to untangle yourself from something could be untangling yourself from like past situations past things that have held you back things that just no longer serve you we have the lovers we have the seven of swords and we have the two of pentacles So your strengths in this situation is um, to understand, I think, what's honest and what isn't honest. You've got the capability, maybe in the, okay. Maybe in the past you've had relationships that were somewhat um, deceptive in nature, not really in its authentic authenticity. Maybe you know the energy exchanges between you and somebody else, lovers, some sort of alliance kind of brought you. It was not a lot. It was not in harmony. It was not in union. And maybe you felt trapped by this, or maybe you felt like. Um, this was something you couldn't get out of and you had to make a decision how to unremove yourself from this how to unwind this how to you know if you're in a situation that's not working you have mastered how to get out of it how to make a decision to restore your own balance and your own sense of harmony here And I think that this knowledge and this wisdom, when this situation comes in, because that you're not, to be careful that you're not carrying what was into what can be. Because this past situations, although this can be an asset, if you're going into a situation to untangle yourself from it, then you're going in with the wrong motives.
So you may need to explore some more options here before you decide to move forward with this, although it is being presented to you. And it does seem like it's something you want because you've got alliance here, something very near and dear to your heart. This is what life is helping you with. You know, you King of Cups is here. There's love. There's a lot of love, and it's time to take action on it. Knight of Wands. And bring it into a place of um, commitment, stability, stabilizing. So let's see what this disruption is then, this outside influence. Because you want to bring forth a message of love. That's the challenge here. You want to bring forth a message of love. You got the king of wands. The passion and the desire is there. It's putting in the work, the due diligence. So let's see what this disruption is. Of the outside influence. By the way, the tower is Scorpio energy. That fits with any of you. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. Whoa, we have the King of Swords. Wow, that's a lot of, of uh, male energy coming in. That's a lot of doing. This is definitely rising to a different level. Some of you, I mean, this disruption could be caused by, we've got air signs here, we've got water signs here, and we've got pentacle signs here. I, I gotta get some more on this. This is like, why would that be a disruption? Could be a sudden change. Queen of Swords. Oh. Too much of the masculine is showing up. Too much of the masculine is showing up. Too much of the doing. And not enough of the female aspect. And the female aspect that does come up is the one that is very um, detached emotionally. You got the King of Cups here. So, I mean, there's warm-heartedness coming in. But these are, these are people that surround you. This is the outside influences that surround you. So, there's a lot of masculine energy here coming through. In the areas of air signs, water signs, and earth signs. So there might be a lot of people surrounding you. And you got the queen of swords here. So again, that's air sign. These could be friends. These, this could be family. This could be people around you. This could be, you know, different signs that, that are in your in your energetic field, but there's a lot of influence here from the outside. I don't know if it's looking for advice or people are giving you their advice. It seems to be dominated to one side of very like patriarchal kind of influence. And the only influence coming in that's feminine is the Queen of Swords, which is also very kind of detached, more of like straight to the point, straight shooter. This could be disrupting the flow of kind of evolving to the next level here with whomever you want to evolve to the next level with. 
So let's find out what your next steps are because you got judgment coming in. That's awareness. That's a new way of seeing things, right? This is like a new... A new way of showing up. Looking at things differently. Seeing things differently. You've got it with the Three of Swords. You have it with the Eight of Swords. Okay. And you got it with the Three of Cups. Um, I think you're gaining an... Okay, so bear with me. I think you're gaining an awareness of... Um, some very difficult... This could be pain, this could be grief, this could be sadness. You're gaining some awareness on how this has trapped you in the past and kept you kind of locked in, maybe to a certain mindset or a certain way of doing things. Um, these are coming from outside influences. And because you've got three kings and a queen down here, um, Somebody's leading the boat. <laughs> this could be male or female influence. It's not gender specific. But there's one king, queen and there's three kings. So when you got it with the three of cups, this is um, a lot of players in the mix here that are influencing this situation. Could be friends. Could be more than friends, could be friends with benefits, could be a whole lot of things. But I think what's what's happening here is you're starting to see that this heartbreak or this sadness that's being created here or has been created here, because you got the eight of swords and what works for you, right? The assets, you know how to untangle yourself. You got the eight of swords there and you also have it in your next steps and you're starting to see clearly how this entanglement works in your life eight of swords again how it brings you sadness and it could be from the outside influences so take that how that resonates for you outside influences could be anything from you know influential friends, influential family, um, influential people, um, looking outside yourself too much for answers, direction, advice, and not listening to your own inner intuition, High Priestess. And I think you're starting to see how this influence of all these different people are starting to play into maybe how you show up in relationships. So the Nine of Swords, this is the big picture, right? Clearing out the fear, the fear of what? What is this fear? What is the big picture here? Because this is a major influence over all these things that come together. Ten of Pentacles is everything coming together. Your livelihood, your family, your friends, um, abundance, your stability. Going the distance, being stable. So what is this Nine of Swords for Taurus? Yeah, I saw that come through. It wanted to come through. Scared to follow your inner knowing, your inner guidance. The inner voice, the inner world.
You started out with the High Priestess as your overall energy, and the big picture is about listening to the High Priestess, your inner knowing. Give me one more on this, please, for Taurus. The Empress. You, when you have the Empress and the High Priestess together, these are both cards of um, inner manifestation, inner knowing, um, highly intuitive. Because the Empress holds the secrets. And she gives them out when she wants to. The High Priestess knows all the secrets. She's been to Hades and she's been to Heaven. And these, this is this is something hidden deep within you, this fear that is driving the behaviors. That's the big picture. It's driving these behaviors of having to untangle yourself, Eight of Swords. This is what you've learned how to do from situations or from relationships that may not have been the best thing for you may not have been something that that you know was in its authenticity so let's get one more on this how this will all play out because you got the seven of wands here so to me this is like holding back and what this would be telling me is that you're you know maybe you're gonna stand your ground and hold back from all these naysayers that are involved in this process with you. Because the challenge is here, I know it comes to me in pieces. We're putting the pieces of the puzzle together, so bear with me. The challenge here is the awareness of listening to your gut instincts. That's the challenge. And When you become aware of what it is you need to do, how you need to move forward, what it is that is you're very passionate about, what you care about, it's going to take some work and some effort. And it's also going to take you moving forward with either making amends, giving apologies, doing things differently, working on a path that is more in alignment with your heart's desires and less maybe about um, doing what you want to do when you want to do it, so to speak. It's going to take fortitude, yep. So seven of wands in your, um, how it's all going to play out comes with the hermit and the fool. And the hermit is that soul searching. So I think what's being said here or how this is all going to play out is that you're going to start seeing some things very clearly. There's a new awareness of how maybe your, this, what makes you sad or what hurts you, what binds you, is coming from outside influences. And there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. And so I think before moving forward, you need to deal or you could be able to deal with some of the fears of looking at 
what is stopping you from listening to your own inner guidance your own inner knowing and that's going to take some soul searching so you might have to hold things back for a while because there's still some soul searching to do there's still some inner guidance that needs to be um, be made aware of inner work the fool right um, taking a journey do some soul work here that's the evolution I think that wants to come through it may be coming through on your end is like moving into a different relationship or or moving a relationship onto a different level But if that's the case and the outside influences are still here, it's still going to end up in the same place that it has in the past, what you've mastered or what your assets are to have to untangle yourself again. And there's going to be, again, sadness and heartbreak because of some outside influences. There needs to be some sort of creative endeavor here to do things a little bit differently and there's some more soul searching that needs to be done. Change is trying to come through. Wheel of Fortune. Change is trying to come through. It's, it's trying, something's trying to evolve itself here. Because you've got the world in here too. And that's about bringing things into harmony. The inner and the outer world. So let's see who we got coming through here for you because there's a lot that showed up. <laughs> You've got Leo. Gemini. Capricorn. Aquarius. Aquarius again. Um, Sagittarius. Sagittarius again. Pisces. Cancer. Gemini again. Gemini again. You got Scorpio down here. <clears throat> you got Judgment. You got Scorpio again. You got Cancer Pisces again. You got the Empress, Taurus and Libra. You got the Fool, Aquarius. You got the Hermit, Virgo. I think that's it so I'm gonna look at those in the extended we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into that um, I will say cancer and Pisces is very strong in this reading Pisces especially Gemini and Aquarius so we're gonna dive deeper into the extended on this by exploring those zodiac signs and as well as get um, actions and advice for you. But for those of you that are not going on, let's, well, those jumped out. Let's get a um, guidance for you. This is from the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck. So you got number 30. If you start seeing number 30, that is a sign that this reading was, there was something in this reading met for you. So we have... Edgeoite. Edgeoite. Um, this brings about profound spiritual revelation, drawing out your karmic wounds. This crystal reframes cellular, me cellular memory and past contracts. Your self-understanding is you are, being, you are a being of infinite love and compassion. Find your core of ultimate peace and universal love. Release your toxic emotions replacing them with forgiveness, compassion, and serenity. What you have been through allows you to appreciate the pain of another's path. <clears throat> Do not absorb their pain. Remain dispassionate. Detach gracefully and move on. Put down your burdens knowing you are a being of light. Resolve your conflicts and forgive those who have wounded you. Give someone a second chance and honor your promises. Find the best solution for everyone and let your dispassionate compassion encompass all. 
do charity work or volunteer work. Immerse yourself in the love of the divine will automatically lead to health and happiness. Your soul path is keeping an open and compassionate heart. And then you also have um, Trigonic Quartz, which is number 23. So you got 30 and 23. This is your soul's code. Trigonic holds the secrets of the universe and rapidly expands your awareness of multi-dimensions. Trigonics are cosmic coatings for your soul. As an eternal spirit, you're on a human journey. As a result, you may feel that Earth is not your true home, but remember that you are here for a purpose. Expand your awareness, restructuring your physical and subtle bodies, beliefs, and your realities. Birth your soul fully on Earth, even if you feel alienated. Meditation triggers your soul's full potential and purpose. In reintegrating fragments of your soul, you'll bring about wholeness. Recognize that multidimensional breath of your soul and remain honest to achieve its, its success. Reach beyond apparent reality and karma. Let go of conflicts. Renegotiate your soul contracts. Heal soul traumas and etheric blueprints. Expel toxins from the physical and subtle bodies to download your higher frequency spiritual energies and integrate your light body. Your soul will provide everything you need for well-being. And the path is evolution to the highest dimensions. Powerful stuff. <laughs> That's powerful. And both are clear. Both are clear uh, crystals with the highest form of light energy. So that's what I have for you this week, Taurus. I hope this helped. These are guidelines and pointers for your journey along the way. Um, for those of you going on, the link to the extended is in the description box below. And until next time, I uh, may the peace that passes all understanding embrace the essence of your being. Bye-bye.